Welcome to the world of wireless IoT. My name is Niklas van Boxler and I am pleased to welcome you to this brand new episode of the videocast Let's Talk Wireless IoT. We talk to exhibitors and to sponsors of the Wireless IoT Tomorrow 2022 to find out what they have prepared for the exhibition and for the conference, how they are reacting to the current challenges and what they expect from the event. Let's keep the introduction short, let's jump right in and I'm looking forward to welcome you at the 90th and 20th of October in Wiesbaden, Germany. And I welcome Marcio Muniz, he's Vice President, Digital Transformation Enabler, and I look forward to an interesting talk about Biontech and what they will be presenting at the Wireless IoT Tomorrow 2022. But before we start with our conversation, how are you? I'm fine, thank you, Nicholas. Pleasure to be here. Okay, it's great to have you. And to learn more today what Biontech has planned for the Wireless IoT Tomorrow 2022. And we can already announce that, of course, you will be part of the exhibition, but also uh, not only as an exhibitor, but as a gold sponsor as well. And we are also looking forward to hear more about Biontech in general, what is going on, how Biontech is dealing with the current challenges we see. But I would say, should we start and jump right into the first question? Yeah, definitely. Let's start it. Okay. So the first question is dealing um, with Biontech and the Wireless IoT Tomorrow 2022. Biontech has already been an exhibitor since 2022. And my question would be, what expectations do you have for the Wireless IoT Tomorrow 2022? Well, we, are, we have high expectations for the, the wireless IoT 2022. I think we are living the, the worst uh, piece of COVID. So uh, we expect that we have full, full house uh, of attendees. And for BioNTech, it's a special event because it's the first time that we, we will show uh, the European world the company that we became. Uh, we have acquired some companies, we have a, a full portfolio, but it's the first time that we are, we're going to approach uh, holistically this, this product based to the market. Okay, so especially because you are um, placing so much information for, for the first time, let me say, in this combination at the event, I think we should definitely talk a bit more um, about the background as well. But before we do so, um, of course, I am part of the organization team. I have more information inside the organization side and I can already tell you there will be a great looking booth from Biontech. So make sure to stop at the booth 55, talk to the experts um, and see um, what's presented there. And that's a good key point let's talk about Biontech. Um, so it was, let me say, quite a year for you. Um, new name, for example, new acquisitions, new goals, I guess. So my question would be, what is and what was going on at Biontech? Okay. Well, the, the, the concept of Biontech was created back in 2019. Uh, our understanding is that the RFID world miss it, uh, a global company uh, with a, a, a big global company and uh, we understood that there were several great medium-sized companies that if they joined themselves uh, would be uh, an amazing offer for the market. Uh, the first company is it's Biontech originally, uh, it started back in Brazil, the name was CCRR, we had a RFID mass market uh, business. And in the beginning of 2021, we started acquiring some companies. So we acquired uh, what used to be Taxis in France, then uh, LabID and Temera in Italy. And then what used to be Storains or FID and Confidex from Finland. Um, so all those acquisitions actually gave us uh, a lot of great resources 
that are combined into a much bigger company, we believe that we can scale uh, up things quite fast and also be a, a really great offer for the, the entire market. Um, as those companies that were acquired, they are a little bit different one from each other. I think it's important to, to explain why we, what, what was behind of those acquisitions. So the, the, the main concept, uh, actually, we were looking for three main things. The first one was to create a company that, that had the, the, high, the, the widest uh, RFID portfolio in the market. Uh, and we were able to achieve that. Uh, we go from mass market, UHF, uh, UHF tags, uh, the, the, the simple one, until the most industrial complex ones, passing through ticketing to toll road, uh, hard tags, soft tags, and a lot of customized products. So first point, why this portfolio in, in the RFID market? Second point, we were able to create a, a truly global footprint. We have factors in, in South America, two in Europe, one in, in China, and uh, we have plans to have a fifth uh, factory in the United States next year. So with that, we create, we kind of create this uh, being global to be local type of uh, uh, strategy. We want to be close to our clients, uh, and especially in a such difficult market in logistics and all, all, everything it becomes to be close to the, 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 the market per se will be a differential. And the third point that was important to us uh, as part of our strategy is in this new era is to be a sustainable company. Uh, and for that, we one of the acquisitions, the Stora Enzo RFID, brings the Ecotag. The Ecotag is a paper-based inlay uh, that we truly believe that it's going to be something huge in the market. We are investing a lot in our capacity to do so. Mm -hmm. And, and then with those three main uh, characteristics, portfolio, global footprint, and sustainability, we will drive our growth uh, through the next years. Okay, well understood. And um, I think th you already mentioned, for example, the acquisitions of LabID and Confidex. Um, we should point out here that both will also be part of the Boost concept onsite. I'm sure that um, every important part of the company just mentioned will be there, but Confidex and LabID um, will di directly be represented. And what I also um, understood how clear the focus on sustainability was. For example, you mentioned the um, the products from Stora Enzo. Um, okay, would you say that these um, um, that these acquisitions and how the company is um, set up the uh, strategy is is now uh, come to an end or is this an ongoing process and there's even more planned i i heard there are new facilities planned in uh, the usna for example but are there uh, specific plans for europe as well well we have in in well we have the, the idea to have a new plant in, in united states here in europe what we are doing we are uh, create uh, we, we are taking lab ID factory to a much bigger place. So we are expanding uh, the factor of lab ID. And also we increase it a little bit the capacity in, in Finland. So those are the two main things that we're doing. Okay. But, but it, it's also good to tell you that uh, not only we invested on acquisitions, but we also uh, invested a lot on capacity. So we deployed the biggest capacity plan of our history back last year, and we're going to start receiving it now, September through April. We will receive uh, more than 3.2 billion capacity to our uh, to our group. So it was a, com a joint uh, effort uh, of new companies and also more capacity to do so. Okay, well understood. So like a joint operation where there's not only one goal, but um, to target the whole. 
and to make sure that um, 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 yeah, not only the acquisitions, the products and the ideas are there, but also the uh, capacities are, are maximized as well. Okay, um, so we, we had a pretty difficult situation, let me say it, a difficult situation during the corona pandemic. We, have, we face right now different challenges um, then um, we faced, let me say, two years ago where we were fully concentrating on Corona. We see now increasing prices. We, we sh see shortages. We still have some logistic uh, problems. And right in this period, um, a lot of the changes we just talked about took place. How is, how is Biontech um, responding to this? How are you affected by these challenges? Well, I think the way we approach those uh, those problems, uh, it's it's trying to to break it down between uh, problems of the present problems and and also the the, the long term view. Uh, so the question we always ask ourselves is: Okay, is our FID uh, something that is gonna pick up for the next uh, years? Uh, and, the, and the answer is definitely, uh, we've been in the market for a while and we've never seen so much excitement, so much demand, so much products, uh, beautiful projects. Uh, so the, the, the technology is uh, in its peak. Yeah. So then it's a question of the moment. The moment was for, for sure challenging, uh, but it was also somehow uh, a good moment for us to do all this integration of the, the companies. No? So uh, if, if we had a full market uh, environment right now, it would be much harder for us to, to structure ourselves. Uh, that's not the case. Uh, the market has uh, an offer limit, a supply limit because of the IC shortage. So we, we took advantage of this time to organize ourselves, to prepare ourselves for, for the for next years. Uh, but uh, but uh, summarizing, I think uh, RFID has been never so uh, strong and so uh, such an important tool for all type of application as it is now. Uh, and that makes us quite confident of what's going to be the future. Uh, absolutely understandable. And would you agree with me that especially the RFID technology is, um, is part of the answer for the challenges we see? So more and more companies are starting if they not only have done it um, over the past years in our update projects now, but our companies that are newly open to this technology because they feel the need to face the challenges and these, for example, the RFID technology is the solution they are looking for. Yeah, I think generally speaking, uh, every single company during those last two years had to rethink things. Right. Uh, the inertia uh, that we that we had uh, had to stop for a while. So people start rethinking the way they work. Uh, home office was introduced. We today this interview has been part of it. Probably we would do two years ago we would do a presential interview. Today we are doing a video interview. So I think the COVID uh, and everything that we live accelerated some changes, and our Fed is part of it. Uh, just to give a, a concrete example, we are seeing consumers, uh, the, the combination of e-commerce and store uh, sales uh, being quite clear. So people love to, to buy from the e-commerce, but sometimes to pick it up on the stores. Oh, in that type of uh, case, uh, RFID is the answer. Uh, you have to guarantee that the, the inventory is there, the product is there. So with that, clients and uh, clients and clients they are looking more for for our FD solutions. Uh, so yeah, uh, we had I think we had pre present we had diff difficult challenges on, on the on the industry, but it also opened up 
on clients uh, the, the excitement about the technology. And that's what we are betting here. Our hypothesis is that our Fed is going to grow and grow a lot for the next uh, couple of years. Yeah, um, I I would 100% agree with you that um, that the situation just made it for, for um, a lot of companies impossible to just keep on going. So they were looking for, um, for, for new, new ways, new solutions um, and absolutely understandable. And um, I think you pointed that out really great. So um, w we talked now about about the goals, the plans, what happened at Biontech during the last um, last months. Let me say it this way. L let's talk um, a bit more concrete about specific products. So um, you have quite, we already talked about it, a wide variety of products in your portfolio, including, for example, the Ecotex, RFID inlays, tax for vehicle identification, for example, and so on and so on. So my first question would be, um, what products will be represented or included in the booth concept on site? Well, our idea on the booth is to present uh, most of our portfolio uh, to show the, 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 the branch of things that we, we can do. And I think one of the concepts that we want to create about Beyond Tags, that Beyond Tags is this one stop shop on RFID. So if you have a need, we, we, we will probably have the solution. And if you don't have the solution, we have the, the best uh, R&D team, best in class R&D team to develop that solution. Right. Uh, so that's why it's so important to have a part Confidex, for instance. Confidex has uh, not only uh, a lot of specialties, uh, products that uh, that are thought to be part of a, another process, another uh, product, uh, but also they they do have a great capability to to develop new things. So any client that that has an idea, we are willing to 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 embrace them and to develop it together with them. Okay, so this seems to be a great opportunity to invite everybody to come to the booth of BeyondTech and um, even if you're looking for not, um, let me say, regular uh, product or solution, to talk about ideas, to share information, to find out where specific needs could be matched, like you mentioned, um, maybe individual solutions. Um, um, in order to to solve a problem for the companies or to make it more efficient to just generate more benefits in order to to face the current challenges for example even better well well understood i think that that's a great point and um, so please make sure to stop and to talk to the experts on site and that brings me to a question that i forgot to ask in the beginning and that is will you be there on site as well Okay, so everybody who maybe got now new ideas in their head during our talk, make sure to stop and talk to Marcio to find out more, talk about details, talk about general ideas. Most important fact is start to talk, to start to find uh, solutions. And yeah, I think we have a um, pretty good idea that we can expect a lot, a lot products at the booth of Biontech. I think it is not that easy to develop a booth concept where such a wide variety is represented. But like I said, I have some background information and I know you did already a great job because I saw the, the sketches. So you can expect a lot from the booth. And let's talk about let me say, um, the second aspect of the event. And that's not only the exhibition, but the conference as well. And you will be part of the conference. Do you already know who will be the speaker? Yeah, we have, we have selected two speakers for, for Biontech. And the idea is to present the, the, the edge of the technology by product and by project. So right. one of the speakers is, is Mika. Mm -hmm. Mika is going to introduce some of our industrial portfolio. Those are the, let me say, the, the, the most difficult tags ever created by, by, by Biontech. Uh, 
uh, and things that can be interesting to the, 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 the industrial world. Uh, second, we have Marco Furli from Temera. Temera is a system integrator uh, focused on luxury. Uh, and his speech is going to be about uh, uh, digital twins, uh, things that the luxury world starts to, to paint. So how to connect products and, and, and metaverse. So really kind of uh, uh, the edge concept is a really futuristic view of what the technology can, can bring to, to our cloud. All right, I will be there, that's for sure. Um, it's, gr it's great to hear how you want to focus on, let me say, kind of the um, limits of what is possible to go there to make sure that that, that message is spread. Um, and that brings me to, to another question. So you just mentioned that this is a great moment for the RFID technology. Would you have expected what the technology can do today, how the technology is offering benefits, let me say, five years ago? No, oh, I, I think the technology, especially in the last two years, kind of surprised me. Uh, and, I, and, and I'm saying that uh, it's funny, it's, it's kind of... Uh, it's, it's compounded... Uh, work. So right. when you are in a small world and, and you compound 10, 20 percent, it's too small, it's too small. But then pick, suddenly it, it, it get tracks. No, uh, I think that's what we're experiencing in, in RFID. Uh, but I, th I, to be fair, I think we, we are just scratching the surface. And why I'm saying that? Uh, we know there are some some segments of the market, such as apparel retail, uh, they, they are kind of well served on, on system integrators. The ecosystem is there. Clients are doing the projects. So I think we are in a good pace, but this is one segment. What about pharmaceuticals? What about uh, logistics? What about parcels? Uh, you name it. Uh, what about food? Uh, so there's still a lot to do, um, but but I think it's already we 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 left the the moment of being something that people were testing. Uh, our is a reality. A lot of a lot of clients are, are making companies uh, based companies and, and and business models based on the RFID technology. Uh, now it's time to spread even further. Uh, and that connects to our strategy as well. We, we, the, the idea of having a wide portfolio is exactly to be able to support all the segments in this journey of uh, introducing RFID to their world. Right. Um, so I love I love your energy. How you're talking that we have um, that we have a great um, level of what the technology is, can do and we that it's a fact, um, but that there's so much possibilities and so much more that um, that can come to life during the next years. And I'm curious how that will work out. And I still I very well understood how Biontech is doing, what Biontech is doing also because of this development during the next years, not only because of the situation today. Okay. Um, so let's, let's come back about um, specific solutions. Are there... Um, specific solutions and um, you for example just mentioned some that are coming up like pharmacy or food for example but are there specific solutions that are reflected on the booths on site as well that are let me say some kind of hot topics this year yeah i, I think in general we, we're gonna bring a lot of the the eco tag is not a, a specific solution to a segment but more of a vertical uh, product for all segments right um, and i think that's the, the main concept we want to we want to, we want to bring uh, mm -hmm. we will also bring those uh, those uh, 
on the edge portfolio to, to the clients, uh, but more specific developments uh, for a specific, specific products. This is a concept that we, we have a lot on our pipeline, but we're going to introduce for next years. I think uh, by now we're going to do most of the, the, the sustainable part that I think it's, it's, it's the base for everything that will come next. Right. So it's, it's very interesting how you, how you focus on the sustainability um, as a base of what's, um, what, what's built, let me say, on, on this fundament. And um, that's also re reflect how maybe the next year is going to be um, what kind of new challenges we will be faced with. And um, to focus on sustainability definitely makes um, absolutely sense. Yeah, yeah, and I, and I, you know, about sustainability. Uh, well, we don't have all the answers, uh, but I think we can be an important piece in a big puzzle. Mm. Uh, so by introducing this this concept of paper inlay, uh, I think it also gives the the industry as a whole uh, another. Uh, importance because we we also cooperate in several other levels of a bigger agenda uh, last year we decided to enter the united nations uh, global uh, program uh, we have our goals to the until 2030 but but rfid is funny because it's not only about our goals but it's it's helping our clients to achieve their goals and 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 rfid is it's both it's a product, but it's a tool. And, and by, by being able to track products, to, to understand the logistics, to, uh, well, you, you, you can definitely make a difference in the, in the sustainable world. And, and that's the right thing to do. Uh, so we try to combine both things, a, a, a beautiful, sustainable product that will allow our clients and customers to also uh, uh, do their uh, their part of the, in the sustainable uh, program. Yeah. Um, so m my first idea was, of course, to think about um, the more sustainable product itself. But what you just mentioned, of course, makes absolutely sense. So there there are two sides of the of the medal. The m more smarter solution helps to uh, um, be more efficient with resources, of course. Um, uh, um, great to point this out yeah uh, thank you very much so that brings me already to my last question unbelievable um, and that question is what does the wireless IoT tomorrow 2022 mean for Biontech well I, I think it means uh, the first time that we will uh, that we will present ourselves as a single group, a uh, global one, uh, with all this resource that we mentioned during the interview. Um, and we are really happy because it, it, it the, couldn't be in, in a better timing. I think we, COVID is kind of in the past, we have to be aware, but I think it's kind of in the past. Uh, I see shortage uh might not be in the past yet but i think we are understand that the, the outlook is a little bit better than it was a year ago so somehow uh, we, we were a little bit lucky as well to have uh, all our uh, resource gathered together in in a really good moment of the market so uh, will definitely be fun for us to be in wireless IoT and I, I hope to see a lot of uh, our customers and, and future ones. Okay, I think during our talk you made it pretty clear that there's a lot to expect from the booth and again I would like to invite everybody to mm, talk let me boil it down to to this to start to get in a conversation to share ideas and like we heard um, you will be representing a lot of different um, different products and we should also focus on the lectures that will be uh, given by by the let me say the team of beyond tech 
and so make sure to mark them in calendar and don't miss it. And I must say I enjoyed our talk very much. I have um, I, I got a very clear impression of what was going on, what the aim is, what you are focusing on, what some kind of hot topics is. And I thank you very much for these great, let me say, insights and for, for a more general picture. And I'm looking forward to welcome you in person at the 90s and 20s of October in uh, Wiesbaden, Germany. That's great. Looking forward to see you and to, to be in wireless IoT. That okay. Be okay. an experience. Perfect. Thank you very much for your time and see you soon. See you soon, Niklas. Thank you so much.